Hi everybody, Nick Agar here, and I want to share with you these new infill stencils. I've designed these to complement the range of peel-off stencils that myself and Chromacraft have developed. They're real easy to use, let's go and have a look and see how they work. These are the red maple infill stencils. While they can certainly be used separately, they are designed to enhance the use of the red maple peel-off stencils. In the peel-off stencils pack, you will find two sheets of precision cut shapes. Peel away the shape you wish to use. A positive or negative shape is then available for sticking to your chosen surface. There are many options here. Placing the infill stencil over the given shape enables you to produce accurate designs within the peel-off window. On this stencil, there are leaf veins and even bugs, all of which are extremely difficult to do by hand, but super easy with the new infill stencil. Let me now show you many of the other stencils available in use. They are super easy to use and get some fantastic results. We've got dragonflies, fish, butterflies, leaves, all sorts. Keep watching and you'll see just how incredible these things will make your work look. It's wise to mask off around the edge of your projects to avoid overspray. Here I'm using just the window of the red maple peel off stencil without the use of the infill. A very nice leaf can be produced. Using the positive side, I just spray around the edge to give me the shape of the leaf, which I can also use for decorating many surfaces. Here's an infill using forest shadows. This is a bass shape. I'm simply using the patterns on the forest shadows to create some of the illusions on the fish scale surface. Super easy and great results. Here's another example with a little more colour. This swallowtail turned out great. Now let's put the antennae on it. Simple and really effective. Here I'm putting some leaf texture on, almost as if the leaf has a bit of decay on it. Here I'm putting the fine vein detail in through the slots on the stencil surface. Don't forget that the edge of each stencil template is designed to complement the projects you're working on, giving you even more design possibilities. Here I'm using the large forest shadows infill stencil. This is going to give me a somewhat abstract design on the dragonfly's wings, but I really like it. That's part of the adventure you can have with these stencils. There's almost limitless things you can do with them. Here is the other way of putting veins onto your leaf. Laying down a lighter colour first, I'm going to spray it over the, let's call them little branches in this instance, with another colour, showing the colour that was left previously underneath them. Now I'm going to put those little bugs on I so love, and I'm going to use the edge of this stencil so that I can put a sort of decayed look to part of the leaf. Again, really quick and easy and so much fun. Thank you everybody for joining me for this. It's been a pleasure. I hope to see you all again soon. Bye bye for now.